Hi again. The housing market is booming and well, it might be a great time to sell and uh, not so much for buying. So let's find out what's going on with the housing market. Joining us live this morning is real estate investing consultant and founder of GetRealWealth.com, Steve Davis. Good morning to you, Steve. Bring us up to date with what's happening in the housing industry right now. Well, good morning, Melissa. The the situation is, as you said, it's truly a seller's market. Uh, inventory is low. Cash buyers are dominating. Uh, houses are going for sale. And within two to three days, they've got multiple bids. I saw one with 18 bids. Um, and houses are going above list price. We saw a property in Austin go on sale for 500 and ended up selling cash for 550. So it is a bad time for a home buyer. Now, we do need to make a distinction. Investors, a well-trained investor is going to make money in both the up and down markets. In other words, we're actually looking forward to a down market. We're hoping for it. We're praying for it. It's coming. And so I'm recommending that home buyers, they, they wait for a correction because it's coming. And as we look at those numbers right there, 25% higher this time than last year. Obviously, we were at the beginning of the pandemic this year. Have people just settled in and they've been saving their money? What's going on with a huge change right now? Well, part of it has to do, the frenzy is the inventory is really low. I think we've got a two-month supply. Mm -hmm. And to be a balanced market, you need about six months supply. So it's just more people are talking about it, more people are frustrated about it. So it's coming out more than it would if it was a balanced market, if that makes sense. Yeah, it certainly does. Now, what about somebody who's in limbo right now? They're just trying to figure out, is it really the right time for me to, to sell my home or, and then to buy one? Obviously, it's great to sell, but you have to find right. something else to live in, and that's where the problem comes in. And that, that, Melissa, that is the exact problem. If you sell and you say, well, I got a good price for my home, I, I made a lot of money, but then you have to immediately go back into a seller's market as a buyer, it's not really a good move. You're not really making money. It's just going to balance out, if you will, and come up zero. And when you look at that, I mean, if you're trying to sell right now and you see that a house is selling in a couple of days and people are fighting over it, I mean, how incredible is that? Do most homes really have multiple bids? Yes, um, we, we're seeing as investors, we're out there buying distressed property and we're seeing, I think the maximum that I've seen, don't get shocked by this number, even though it is 88 bids on one house. No. Yep. <laughs> 88 uh, and bids? they overpaid. They overpaid. It That's sold gonna be above a record. market price. <laughs> You're probably right. I've, like. I've never What's seen anything <laughs> like this except pre-2008. Right before the crash in 2008, wow. dumb stuff like this was happening. That's why I see this as a predictor for another. I don't think it'll be a, as bad as 2008, but there is going to be a correction. There is going to be a yeah. crash. As soon as these foreclosures start, there's going to be so many properties on the market. It's going to balance the market, put it back into a buyer's market, I believe, in a short period of time, within six months to a year. And Steve, we see that cash buyers are dominating, and certainly that would make sense. But are there really that many people who can afford just to throw down some cash on a house? You know where they're coming from? California. These people are selling houses mm. for $7 million, literally, and coming here and for $1 million buying a bigger house with a pool and a spa, and now they have $6 million to invest. So, yes, it, it's a lot of out-of-state out of buyers are, mm. yeah, they're willing to pay cash because they got such an incredible price on their All home right. in California, New York, and so on. Very intriguing. Well, Steve, it's great to talk to you. Thanks so much for all the info. Have a great weekend. You too. Take care.